England is in chaos. The country's leaders are about to slug it out in a winner-take-all fight. And history's greatest blowhard calls for more wine. <laughs> it Sounds familiar? <laughs> It's Shakespeare's Henry IV, and it's being presented this weekend and next by the Madison Shakespeare Company. Our Michael Bruno goes backstage with the bard. But for mine own part, my lord, I could be well contented to be there in respect of the love I bear your house. Hots Hotspur's main role in this, uh, in this play is that he's the leader of the rebellion against the king, and he serves as sort of a, a foil to Prince Hal, that Hal is this, like, terrible son who's out drinking all the time and Hotspur is this like super honorable guy who kills a lot of people. I'm playing Prince Hal, and in the, in the histories of Shakespeare, Prince Hal goes on to become Henry V. Now, in Henry IV, part one, we see this interplay between Henry IV, the king, and, and Prince Hal. It's all about uh, Hal and him going from one world to the other. Uh, and it's a choice that he made uh, somewhere along the line, where he chose to leave the castle world and go to the tavern world and have tons of more fun. Much of the, of the play f uh, focuses on Hal is uh, in dereliction of his duties. He's not being a very good prince. He's ignoring the court, he's drinking, he's partying, he's all having a good time. When thou art king, let not us who are squires of the night's body be called thieves of the day's beauty. Let us be Diana's foresters, gentlemen of the shade, minions of the boon. And he meets and a father figure type, and that person is Falstaff. Falstaff is an old soldier trying to make uh, make his way in the world as best he can and he somehow has fallen into uh hanging out with prince hal he looks like he's partying and he's having a good time but underneath the surface of that you see how uh learning and observing and learning how to talk to people and you know, he's a communicator he's learning how to speak to people outside of the court life outside of the political life that you have to lead as a king highs of flow is the ridge of a cow say this true, but is not our hostess of the tavern a most sweet wench? And kind of uh, become his mentor and his party friend. And so in this little mini world of the tavern, in this different world from the court, he's learning how to be a king. But as the play goes along, and this is when we meet Hal, it's him trying to make a choice. Does he continue on with Falstaff? or does he follow the path that he's supposed to and become the next future king? And it's that tug and pull that happens throughout the show and that relationship between Falstaff versus his father, the king, that really drives a lot of these things. Will there be gallows standing in England when thou art king? Do not thou, when thou art king, hang a thief. No, thou shalt. Shall I? By the Lord, I'll make a rare judge. <laughs> thou judge is false already. I mean that thou shalt. Interesting. I get zooks forsooth. <laughs> Where's my mead? Sam could be my understudy. I was just gonna say that. You guys look exactly the same. You have that same big voice. So a lot of times I do part one and part two, and that gets, what, five, six hours long? That gets to be a very long evening of Shakespeare. So they break it up into part one and part two. So this is just part one that they're doing now. So it's what? this weekend and next weekend. That's correct. Okay. Yes. At the Bartell. At the Bartell Theater in the, in the small, intimate Evue Theater. So it would be interesting to see Shakespeare. And I guess the audience is partitioned into three different parts of the show. So if you're seated in the pub part, you get to like you get to chant along and sing along with the with the characters in the pub. Oh, that's and then a good the one idea. part is the throne room, so you have to act regal with the king in the throne room. So it's kind of participational, but you they're not gonna drag you up on stage and make <laughs> you drink the mead <laughs> or the Kool-Aid or whatever they have. <laughs> this weekend and next at the Bartell Madison Shakespeare.org for information. Next week. Uh, next week, it's the Marvelous Wonderettes at the Palace Theater for Valentine's Day. Something a little different. Yeah. <laughs> do I, do I, do I, do I, do I. Oh, that'll be fun. <laughs> All right, have a good weekend. Thank Thanks, you. Michael. We'll be right back with the final check of your forecast.